Wow, I can't believe it. August is almost over here and we have another Friday Night Meta, a weekly series here on the channel. So thank you for tuning in. On top of that, the Wilds of Eldrain, the new set is almost here as well. So let's go ahead and break into it here today where we do break down each of the formats, best of one and best of three, giving you the latest and greatest information here. If you happen to have a question, if you got a comment, let me know and come swing by the Discord server, say hello. Down below, you'll find those timestamps that I just discussed. However, let's get moving here as we break down the standard meta. So here's what we got going on in standard best of one, mono white human, Celestia enchantment, Mono Red Aggro, Mono Red Burn. We see Azor's control up there um, getting a little bit better. Mono Black control also in there. Mono Blue Tempo and Mono Black Midrange. Um, in the current meta right now for best of one. As we go down here, you can see heavily, heavily played. Pretty much staying the same. A couple of changes here a little bit in terms of what's moved around over time. Um, however, down below here, you also see our win rate. Mono white, uh, definitely, definitely dominating. And then again, everything else here, fairly tight in terms of what's going on. A little bit of moving back and forth, which is always important to look at. However, let's go ahead and look at Mythic. Mythic's a little bit different here. We actually have Naya humans at the top, um, followed by mono white humans. Mono black mid-range, we see five color domain in here. Mono red burn, mono red aggro, Selesnian enchantments, and that is worst control still up there. Um, in terms of what's going on. So those are always important things to take a look at and see. So we got the aggro or at aggregate, not aggro, um, and then a little bit more of a compact look when we look at mythic. Let's go ahead and check out best of three. Here in best of three, we see four color domain at the top. Then we have Selesnian enchantments, Demir midrange, mono black control, Esper midrange, five color domain, mono red aggro, and Esper control. Heavily dominated by that Dimmer midrange. Again, you can see that huge, huge takeoff there, a very strong list. Everything else kind of coming down. We do see Esper control kind of popping back up. Now look at this, win rate over time, Celestia enchantments really taking off here. Wow, some pretty crazy ups and downs, similar to what we're seeing with Esper Control there as well. Um, pretty interesting nonetheless. And then there's that dimmer mid-range um, holding steady, doing pretty good. But we think we found that thread the needle there um, with Selesnya Enchantments. Let's see if that holds up when we get to Mythic. Mythic's a little bit different. We lose Selesnya Enchantments, but we do find Esper Legends, Azura Soldiers here. Mono White mid-range, four color domain falling off a little bit. We do have five color domain, mono black control, dimmer mid-range falling off and esper control as well so it's always good to take a look and get those different viewpoints because they certainly impact and make a difference let's go ahead and break down alchemy alchemy here we have rockto sacrifice dimmer control mono black nazgul still being one of the most popular lists mono red burn mono black mid-range grixis mid-range orzov tokens mono red aggro not cracking that 50 percent now, here we go. As we see down below, we got Mono Black Nazgul and we have Dimmer Control. And then on the side, or well, a little bit further down below, win rate over time, that Rockto Sacrifice still holding up, but really just eking out as you see that Mono or Dimmer Control in there and the Mono Black Nazgul all being very close um, right now in the current meta, which is very, very interesting for us to see. And that Mono Red Burn. Let's see what we got when we get to Mythic. Is there any changes? Nope, not enough at Mythic. You need to be playing more Alchemy at Mythic, my friends. Just kidding. Um, with that, let's check out best of three. Best of three, we got Rakto Sacrifice at 73%. Five color Jota there um, at 71. Dimmer mid-range at 71. Four color mid-range at 70. Salt time mid-range at 70. Grixis mid-range 66. And Dimmer control on the right, dominated by Rakto Sacrifice. Four color mid-range and Dimmer mid-range. Here you can see a lot of that play, that Grixis mid-range really falling off, but that Rakdos Sacrifice popping in there um, and four color mid-range. And then again, you can see what's happening there um, in terms of those win rates over time. Let's see if anyone's at Mythic. Yes, a couple of you. Um, Rakdos Sacrifice, Dimmer mid-range, and Grixis mid-range there. Um, Rakdos Sacrifice definitely dominating um, in terms of popularity. So let's go ahead. That concludes Alchemy for the week. Let's go all the way back out and move over to Historic. So for Historic, is it Wizards back up there? Rakdos Midrange, Sultai Dredge, Dimmer Dredge, Selesnia Squirrel Twin, Mono Black 
Control, Azores Control, and Mono Green Elves. We lose a lot of the Mono Red Aggro stuff here. Um, and then here on the right, we got, is it Wizards, the most popular, followed by Rakdos, Midrange, and the rest. Here again, uh, is it Wizards still staying very popular? We do see that Rakdos, Midrange falling off. Here you see again the release of Explorer Anthology, Golgari Yogmoth dropping off. Um, but again, not being one of the most popular lists here in best of one. Um, certainly we have a lot of things moving around as you can see, but yeah, even though Yagmoth's up there, there's not enough players playing it, um, in terms of popularity, which is always interesting to see as things move around. Let's go ahead and look at mythic specifically. Now you have it at mythic though. Um, so Gar Yagmoth, we also have John Midrange. Is it Wizards falling a bit? Um, no color paradox storm in there as well. And Zora's control. So a lot of things moving around there for historic best of one. Let's go ahead and pull it back and move over to best of three. Here for best of three, we have uh, Golgari Yagmoth, Dimmer Control, Jun Midrange, Is It Wizards, Rakdos Midrange, Mono Green Devotion, Naya Zoo, Domain Zoo, and Teamer Gates. Um, on the right, heavily dominated by those top four. Um, and then here, let's go ahead and look at this popularity trending over time. Rakdos, we did have that Gates fall off a little bit, Dimmer Control, and then again, Golgari Yagmoth. Here again, Yagmoth at the top, Mono, or sorry, Dimmer Control there as well. And that teamer gate still continues to fall off um, in terms of how it's holding up. Let's go ahead and look at Mythic. Mythic here we have Golgari Yagmoth, Dimmer Control, and Rakdos Midrange in terms of what's happening. All right, all the way back to Explorer. So Explorer, not a ton of players on that. Oop, that's Mythic. There we go. Well, now we have a ton of players. Um, so when we look at best of one, we got Slesnian Angels, Burn. Abzan Gracefang, Aggro, Mono White Humans, Rock to Sacrifice, Mono Green Devotion, and Teamer Creativity. On the right, we got Slesnia Angels, uh, Green Devotion, Mono White Humans, Abzan Gracefang. Um, really being kind of the key decks, really kind of the top two, next four, and then bottom two. And then here we can see how popularity is trending. Slesnia Angels trending up along with Mono Green Devotion. Um, we also have Mono White Humans kind of trending up. And then here, look at this win rate over time. Selesny Angels making a huge pivot from 55 to 60%. Well, we see Mono White Humans falling off. So good hard counter to Mono White Humans. Um, again, when we looked at last week, what was doing well, it's always nice to see how things move around. And then Rakdos Midrange just really, really not doing well um, there. And, and again, um, things change. All right, let's go ahead and look at Mythic. Mythic here, really three, Mono White Humans, Selesna Angels, and Mono Green Devotion. Lots of the meta right there, 30% um, to be close to exact, nonetheless, actually a little bit more than that. Um, anyway, let's check out best of three here for Explorer, and that will conclude both our best of one and best of three formats. Um, here we have Abzan Greasefang, Rakdos Midrange, Mono White Humans, Azorus Lotus Field, Rakdos Sacrifice, Devotion, Creativity, and Mono Black Midrange here. Um, on the right, you can see, again, really kind of the top two, then probably the next three, and then bottom three there in terms of percent played, really dominated by Green Devotion and Rakdos Midrange. Um, and then here uh, you can see popularity over time trending just a little bit off on Mono Green Devotion, a huge uptick in that Rakdos mid-range. Um, some of the other stuff falling off. Again, Teamer Creativity not doing as well either there. Um, we do see that Mono White Humans dominating fairly well here right up until the end um, of what we got going on almost for the month when we look at Abzan Greasefang doing very well and everything else kind of falling, um, which means something else in the meta is really, really moving around. Let's go ahead and take a peek at Mythic. Mythic here, we do have some changes. We have Azor Spirits at the top there. Um, but again, not uh, pretty fairly heavily played. Um, Rakdos Midrange, uh, Mono White Humans, Teamer Creativity, Abzan Greasefang, Azor Slowest Field, Rakdos Sacrifice, Mono Green Devotion, not holding up as well um, in that mythic space. And then again, you can see that big pivot there on what's playing um, with Rakdos Midrange. All right, pull that all the way back. On to our last format here for the week with Historic Brawl. Raghavan's at the top. Atroxa, we have Kallax in here, guided by Fate, Itali, Rusko, Sauron back in, Emoti, and the first sliver. Um, let's go ahead and see. Oop, here you go. Popularity on the right. And let's see how these things are trending. There you have Itali, popularity. Um, again, everything else kind of trending down here, these bottom two. 
Um, but here we have Raghavan at the top, Troxa. Again, Itali, uh, the first sliver in there, doing well. We have Sauron popping back in. That had been a subpar list there for a while. Now it's back up uh, above 50, which is good. Xenagos in there, and then additionally Smeagol kind of popping in um, on some of the other lists here, as you can see. Let's add in our Calyx. There you go. Calyx guided by fate. Doing pretty good there in terms of what we're seeing. Almost catching that Atroxa, uh, which is important to see. If we add in Rusko as well, there's Rusko. Um, always, always fun to see some of those different pieces. All right, all the way back, pulling it together for today's episode. First and foremost, as always, thank you. Thank you for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed our weekly series here. Let me know in the comments on top of that if you got a question. Otherwise, too, let me know because I'd love to hear from you and come swing by the Discord server. I want to say thank you. Thank you for the likes and your support. As always, thank you for the subs and thanks to all the members. We got something there for everyone, as I always like to say. Now, down below, other great ways to support the channel, great ways to stay in the know and stay connected as well. Um, with that, we got a ton of great magic content here available to you looking forward to the new set as well as a new season as always i'm a big fan of the resets um so with that uh enjoy your week we'll see you again soon we got a lot of great stuff here for you and lots of interesting moves actually here towards the end of the month in the meta as you can see as things are bouncing around so until next time we'll see you again soon mithras out of here enjoy